Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson presented by Bank Corp South. No game, of course, last week for the Golden Eagles because of the hurricane over on the Atlantic coast, but the Eagles getting ready to get back in action on Saturday against the Rice Owls. And uh, Hop, of course, uh, Hurricane uh, Florence uh, caused the postponement or the cancellation oh, of the game with uh, Appalachian State. But, of course, uh, the Golden Eagles are no uh, strangers to hurricanes. Back uh, 2004 and 2005, particularly 2005, we had Katrina, and then there was another one that affected the Golden Rita, Eagles. And, and uh, you and uh, Todd McCall spent yeah. most of that uh, Katrina week yeah, we in this uh, athletic center, just the two of you guys. We did. That was, that was, a, that was an interesting time. It, uh, it kind of, the athletic complex in Van Hall became like a mini Superdome. It got a little toxic, so the kids, and we kind of slept outside. And I can still remember the light poles and M.M. Roberts bending over in complete use and, and flinging back and the windows bubbling out in the, in the Duff Center. It was an amazing time. I haven't seen anything like that, and it was a... Uh, there was a lot of adversity. Uh, our kids went through a lot. Uh, they didn't have any food. And then we finally started getting a bottle of water to them at a hot dog where they were able to eat I think, one hot dog and one bottle of water a day until we finally, a few days later, got a bus into them. And, and then we had the dawning task to go to Tuscaloosa and play Alabama. And we actually kind of had Alabama on the ropes there. And Tyrone Protho makes oh, yeah. a, 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 a SB award winning catch that uh, Kind of at Alabama, they still call it the catch, and uh, but it was a, a tribute to the young men. They fought hard and, and battled through a lot of different adversities. And you guys, uh, University of Memphis was nice enough. Right. Went up there and spent mm -hmm. some time right. when you couldn't practice here in Hattiesburg. Right, that was that was a uh, that was a, a, a tough time. I, I, I tell people we got up to Jackson and we went into the Golden Corral. We looked like a herd of Vikings rolling in. We we but we pillaged the whole uh, restaurant. It's amazing there's any food left when we came through and, and then went up to Memphis and practiced there and, and had got a couple days in, I think, and then headed off to Tuscaloosa to play Alabama. Of course, our thoughts and prayers are all the folks over there uh, in that uh, on the, along that Atlantic coast that are affected no by that. No I doubt. mean, football's important to us because that's what we that's do, right. but in the long run, uh, it's those people over there that are important. Yeah, all you have to do is live through something like Katrina, and you don't, you don't take it lightly. You realize what's really important. I mean, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, we all know, looked like an atomic bomb was dropped on it, so uh, we were certainly praying that uh, this would be a false alarm and there wouldn't be that much damage, but it looks like it has been a pretty severe hurricane and uh, certainly praying for the families of those that lost loved ones. And, and it's just a tough, tough time. And, and uh, just hopefully North Carolina will, will get back up and running uh, quickly. And, and just our prayers are sent out to those guys. John Gilbert, our director of athletics, I know he's been working on uh, trying to work something out. Uh, any insight on what that might be in regards to the Appalachian State game, or is that you're not really worried no, about that? No, we're worried about Rice right now. We're focusing on conference play, and we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we have to. You guys, as you said, got back on the practice field when you found out that game was going to be canceled or postponed against right. Appalachian State. Uh, it was almost like an open date then. So what did you work on last week? Well, we actually, that, that Wednesday, we actually went out and had a get better practice. Just working on little things that we felt like we haven't done as well as we should have done. And then Thursday and Friday was mainly concentrating on rice and, and game preparation. So, uh, you know, we, I feel like we got a lot done last week, and hopefully uh, that will carry over not only for this week but the rest of the season. Had to feel strange uh, Saturday and Sunday, no game. But, but mm -hmm. uh, I know your coaches, particularly you, I'm sure we're here watching video I, and yeah, trying to I, find a way I, to I get I was here better. all day Saturday, I promise you. Uh, I think I, you know, I, I got as much work in as I could. And, um, yeah, just, you know, it's game week. There's only one game you're really interested in watching every Saturday, and that's your game, you know. So I didn't spend a lot of time watching uh, college football games. We're just trying to prepare every day. That's our journey, get better. Hey, we've got a, a feature here in just a bit we're going to see on Brock Hayes, who's new on your staff, right. young man who's coaching the tight ends and involved right. in some other things. Uh, talk about him a little bit, how you – what's your uh, – you know, how you found him, how you knew him, and, and kind of what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, just a class guy. Brock, Brock um, again, was a running back coach down at Nickel State and had, had been in the New Orleans area, and Shannon had uh, crossed paths with him two or three times. And he brought his name up to me, and I did a little research on him, and he coached uh, Nichols for Tim Rebo, and Tim's an old friend of mine. And 
So I uh, called Tim and, and um, got Brock up on an on a, um, interview and just did a tremendous job. And, you know, again, he, he's just an outstanding coach, an outstanding person, uh, excellent role model for young men. And we're certainly pleased and, and thrilled to death to have him on staff. Well, we will uh, visit with uh, Brock Hayes in just a bit on the show, but uh, you're watching Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson. More to go on our show in just a moment. Well, uh, originally I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised. Um, coaching was, I mean, well, football was really a big part of my life, you know, growing up. It was an avenue to, you know, kind of get away from the things, you know, growing up in the city that you usually seen that shouldn't be the norm, but is in New Orleans. Uh, you know, playing football was just something fun for me, you know, so I started in the park um, and kind of moved my way up to high school, well, middle school to high school. and. You know, um, it's just it's just always been a part of my life. So, you know, uh, coaching is an extension of that. So, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to be in that position to coach and still have the game of football a part of my life like it's been for most of it. Well, I just I just played football. So uh, football was a big part of my life because of the people that I encountered while I played it. You know, so a lot of my role models and and and, and figures came from football were the coaches. So, you know, I kind of gravitated towards that because those guys had a big impact on my life outside of my immediate family. And, you know, that's why I really chose to, to play football as a sport. And it's also why I chose to do it as a coach, you know, just to be able to pour back into the community and help out. You know, I, I was always a kid growing up where if we had like guest speakers at things, I would always go to it just to hear those guys speak. And I was like, man, that'd be pretty cool to do that. And I always thought about how can I impact my, my neighborhood or my community in a positive way. And I just figured, you know, growing up, once I kind of, you know, figured out what I wanted to do in life, I was like, man, coaching would be perfect, you know, because that made an impact on me. So why not use that as an impact on more young men, you know, to pour into their life? So I guess, you know, football kind of is the foundation of my life and it kind of, you know, balances me out and helps me be able to accomplish some dreams I had as a kid moving forward as an adult. It's, it's, it's actually a funny thing about Southern Miss. I've always heard of the school, but I hadn't actually been here. But my alma mater had uh, sent, I think, about five guys here, and all of them have been, like, great players that have played here, team captains. So always knew about Southern Miss, but I hadn't actually been to it. So when the opportunity presented itself and, um, you know, I got to meet Coach Hobson and come in and interview for the position, you know, I really was able to, 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 to take it all in and kind of see what those guys used to talk about that played here. And, you know, I, I sat down with Coach Hobson during the interview process and I kind of asked him, I said, man, what, what's the, you know, like the, the standard of Southern Miss? You know, he broke it down from his blue collar, you know, uh, hard working. And it's, it's the same things that I look at, you know, as far as myself as a coach and kids I look for. And it was kind of, you know, it made a great mesh, you know, uh, relationship-wise when me and him talked and I really wanted to be here after we had a great conversation about the school. Uh, you know, being in Hattiesburg, man, it's, it's, it's a real cool place. You know, it's a great family atmosphere, you know, for my wife and my daughter. So the transition has been real great, you know, um, just as, as long, you know, just Southern Miss wise, you know, just the whole persona about the school and, and the tradition of everything about it is something that I really like because it, you know, it kind of takes me back to my life growing up, you know, so hard nose, getting after it, you know, it's just the model of what it is here. And, you know, just the culture, the atmosphere, everything here is just so perfect for, you know, a family situation and for kids that's coming in trying to come to school at Southern Miss. My background uh, is I grew up in Magnolia, Mississippi, uh, in Pike County, just uh, south of Macomb, and uh, went to Millsaps College for undergraduate uh, school and did my MBA there. Then went to Ole Miss uh, for law school and 
through all those stops was, was involved in athletics and um, really sparked my career uh, when I moved out to California to work at Santa Clara University uh, for 12 years uh, and uh, there was always a desire to come back home and when the opportunity uh, to serve here uh, emerged uh, it, it was an opportunity that I, that I couldn't pass up and uh, to return to football uh, was uh, really important to me as well uh, and so I'm very pleased to be here. When the job became available, I, I got a text message from a friend of mine saying, would you be interested in uh, the position? And I said, I'd, I'd take a strong look at it. Uh, and that friend said, well, good, because I've already submitted your name to John Gilbert for consideration. Uh, but uh, my wife's a native Mississippian, and uh, we had talked about for the right opportunity, uh, coming home uh, would be a very special thing for our family. And, and our uh, extended family as well. And the, the job description lined up, the opportunity to work with football, with men's basketball, and to help John with the day-to-day -day operations uh, of the department. Um, it, it was just too good to be true, and uh, I'm very pleased that it worked out the way it did. Some of the day-to-day -day, uh, activities of the job will be overseeing our compliance unit, um, our academic support unit. Uh, I've got a deep and rich background uh, in overseeing those various units throughout my career. The legal background certainly plays into that. Uh, I'll work with uh, partners across campus um, on more strategic things. Uh, I'll, I'll certainly uh, work on uh, with John with football scheduling, basketball scheduling, things like that and, and work very closely with uh, those two programs uh, in the day-to-day -day operations of, uh, of those two sports. There are a lot of challenges and opportunities. Uh, I, I, I am partial to the word opportunity. Uh, I think we have a chance to continue to grow our fan base. I think there's a chance to uh, really start uh, an uptick in terms of success uh, in a lot of our sports. And, and that trend has um, really started the last couple of years. I think some of our sports are, are moving in the right direction. Um, I, I've always been a, a part of a program where we can move the needle uh, in, in the right way and um, that was made very clear to me that that opportunity exists here and uh, I'm hoping that I can lend some of my talents to help do that. Well I'm excited about John uh, for the mere fact that he's got an excellent reputation in our profession. Uh, I, I met him for the first time about a year ago at a conference. We had a great conversation. Uh, I actually had an opportunity to eat dinner with him uh, and some other colleagues uh, from various institutions across the country and I was struck by his poise, the character with which he represents himself uh, and uh, observing Southern Miss from afar, I was able to tell that he was in fact moving the needle here in a relatively short time. And so when we began having conversations about this position uh, and I started doing some research and, and digging into his background a little bit. Uh, I couldn't find one person that had anything negative to say about him. And uh, so I, I was smitten with him and his vision for this place and uh, really in, in short order uh, and told my wife, I said, I, I, this is a guy I want to work with and because uh, I, I really think that uh, he's doing the right thing and, and, um, and it was something that, that came to fruition and we're really excited about it. been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right, thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. Soccer is a player's game, you know, it's uh, once the whistle blows and you're kicking off, 
the players have to solve the problem on the field. We don't have timeouts. Uh, we're playing for 45 minutes nonstop. So uh, the players, you know, the, we, you got to do the work in the practice, on the, on the practice field. So uh, players have to be uh, creative, uh, bring in their, you know, qualities, whether it's their technical or athletic qualities and, and tactical qualities, but ultimately they got to bring in their personality on the field. And, and for me, uh, that's what separates the game of soccer. It's a player's game, not a coach's game. We have a, a young team uh, uh, made out of freshmen and sophomores, the core of the team. Uh, but there's a lot of kids that, uh, like our seniors, uh, Ola Akini, that has done a tremendous job. Uh, she's uh, you know, all-conference, first-team all-conference. Uh, she's bringing a lot of, uh, of her leadership and uh, maturity for us on the field. Um, you know, Stephanie Garcia is another senior that has done a great job. Um, and then as far as young players, you have uh, Olivia Dur Durham, who is a freshman, who uh, uh, is, is doing a great job and, and, and is going to be one of the players that is going to see a lot of minutes. Uh, Rana Hussein um, from, uh, from Houston, uh, also uh, plays for the Egyptian national team, has, has, has had a, a good start for the season. Uh, Mia Swaswa, who is an all-conference player for us from uh, Dallas, uh, is doing a great job. Uh, uh, Caitlin Pierce uh, is one player that has shown huge growth uh, as a sophomore uh, since when she came in as a freshman. She's really addressed a lot of areas of her game, um, who's one of our, our main pillars on our team that can, we're going to be relying on going forward for this season. I like to play an attacking brand of soccer that where the will to win exceeds the fear of losing. Uh, what I mean by that is we like to play uh, an attacking possession style of soccer that we're putting the ball on the ground and we're, we're, play, we're pushing more numbers into the attack, um, allowing our players to bring in their personality because uh, Soccer is a sport. You're supposed it's it's an art. It's not just uh, you know solving it athletically. It's it's a, it's an art, and, and and for players to be able to express their ideas and their creativity and still being attacking and scoring more goals, that's the kind of brand of soccer that I like to to play. Uh, but also to play that brand of soccer, you have to be very organized defensively. And, and, and be able to retrieve the ball again quickly in certain areas of the field and be organized that we can counter press and win the ball again. So, uh, so it makes it exciting for, for, for the players. It's a, it's a risky type of soccer, but it brings in a lot of good qualities on the players and it brings in a lot of uh, 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 creativity, but also aggression in a, in a controlled way for sure. Missing last year kind of allowed me to put everything into perspective. You know, even you know, even though we as football players try not to put our identity in football, it kind of just happened. So you know, last year I kind of had to just realize, okay, football is something extra for me. You know, it's it's a sport, it's a game. I'm Picasso Nelson Jr. I you know I love my family, I, I love the fish and things like that. So I kind of was able to put my life into perspective. But then also it made me you know really appreciate the game um, because. When you've never set out, you've never had a chance to miss the game. And I had a chance to sit back and just know that, okay, football doesn't, doesn't last forever. You know, you only get a certain amount of time to play. So whenever you are out there, whenever you are healthy, you got to take advantage of it. Graduating number one in my class um, was definitely something that I was truly proud of, you know, because as an athlete, you know, people expect you to be just good in sports and only that. Um, and, and that's something I've tried to come back my whole life saying, you know, yeah, I'm good in sports, but I'm better in the classroom, you know, so I compete on and off the field. So that really just showed that, you know, hard work really does pay off and that, you know, as a student athlete, we come and, and, and we, 
can choose any major. Um, but you know, if, if you're going to be here and if you're, if you're going to be provided an education, choose the best major for you. And mine was finance, and, and I worked hard, and, and I thank God that I was able to graduate no more in my class. I, I truly want to be the best in everything that I that I do, and um, when it comes to that, I, I, I'm really not the type of person that wants to work in front of everybody, you know, um, because everybody knows that, that exactly what you put in to be what you are. But you know, I'm the type of person that you know, whenever my opponent's sleeping, I want to work. You know, whenever whenever they're out partying, I want to work. So you know, I, I have many things that kind of give me a competitive edge. Like I do yoga at home, I do workouts at home. I, I got film on my iPad and I watch film like every day. And a lot of people don't know that because they don't see it, but um, I, I, I really choose to prove things to myself and not to the world, and then just let it show on game. Day. I definitely don't mind being a leader, but in my mindset, that, that thing has changed. You know, since a freshman, I've always, you know, been myself. Um, I'm not the type of person to yell at others or, you know, kind of have a, like a, I guess, a toxic leadership role. I just try to pull guys with, with me, you know. Pull, pull them with me and you know saying that we're in this together. I'm older, you're younger, but we all talented and we all here to get better and we gonna get better. I believe in you. This your first year playing, but I believe in you. And um, and as long as we believe in each other and, and encourage each other, then we'll be better than any secondary. The best piece of advice that I've ever had um, from anyone, that's definitely a hard question. Um, I've had a lot of um, influential people speak in my life, but I think one person that that I definitely um, appreciate him, and I don't know him, uh, you know, face to face. Uh, is Robert Kiyosaki? He wrote the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, and he just really broke down, um, you know, how to how to allocate your funds when you bring them in, you know, to spend on assets that bring you residual money instead of spending on liabilities, and that's just something so small that a lot of people don't know. And that's really um, the difference between the rich and the poor. So that's something that's like life changing for me um, to help somebody. So. Wearing the black and gold really means something to me. Um, and last year, whenever you know, I was asked that question, you know, it was kind of an answer because you know I never really had to go through a hardship. But when I missed last year, I got a chance to miss the game of football, miss wearing the black and gold. And and wearing black and gold really means like resilience, um, working hard, believing in yourself even when nobody else does, you know. And really, you know, regardless of the situation, going out there and giving your best. And that's what I'm gonna do this year. That's what. That's what my teammates gonna do this year, and that's why we gonna win this year. And we're back once again, Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson, presented by Bank Corp South. With the Golden Eagles after that uh, unscheduled week off, get ready to return to action on Saturday at the Rock as they take on the Rice Owls. And uh, Hop, this is a, uh, a program that's uh, got a great uh, tradition of football. They have made a change. Uh, David Bailiff, who'd been there a long time as their head coach, is gone. They brought in a new guy. Uh, what's your impressions of Rice as you saw to sort of watch tape on them? Well, they certainly uh, a team that gives you a lot of different looks, a lot of different personnel groupings, and Coach Bloomington's done a great job. Uh, you know, we know we've got another tough test coming into the Rock. I, I said this earlier, and I'm going to say it every week. You know, another big challenge. We got to be ready to play, and uh, Rice is no exception. So, uh, again, uh, we got to have a. We've, we've had a good week of practice. We've got to finish strong and be ready to go on Saturday. They uh, Are they doing anything maybe differently than they've done a year ago? It's, it's well, pretty much a lot of the well, same Coach, personnel. Coach Broomman came from Stanford, so uh, they, they have a lot of that personality uh, that uh, Stanford has. So there is, uh, there is a, a different style of offense and defense that they play from previous years. And I think that's natural with any – uh, team when a new head coach comes into town. So uh, again, we know we have a, a big game on Saturday. We've been preparing hard and, and uh, we need to bring our A game. As you uh, mentioned, you guys got the extra few days of practice last week. You've been hard at it this week. Uh, have you liked what you've seen out of your ball club? I have. I have. We, we've, we've worked hard and um, that's one thing with this football team I've always, I've always liked. Uh, they're coming to work and uh, I think we're close. I really do. I mean, we're, we're you know, a few plays. You go back and look at that film from like, from two weeks ago. It's it's you know it's sickening at times because you look at a play here, play there, and you know. But that's football, and, and we got to be better. And I think we will. Uh, 
because uh, we're, we're, I think we're going to have a really good football team. I know, uh, you know, obviously, as you said, a disappointing loss a couple of weeks ago, but people forget something. This is a young football team. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that are playing for the first time, and, uh, you know, sometimes uh, it takes them a while to kind yeah, of figure you know, it all out. you know, and, and there's some spots you have a little bit more age than other spots, but, uh, you know, there, there's little things that you see within a film that gives you a lot of, uh, you know, you get you excited, and, and so hopefully, you know, we'll just keep chipping away at that dam and hopefully that thing will break and uh, we'll be off and running. It's going to be a lot of fun being back in the Rock. Uh, now that the way it's worked out, you'll have played, I guess, uh, well, your first three That's here right. at the Rock. That's kind of That's unusual. Right. That is unusual. We have three here and, then, uh, you know, we'll head, uh, head off to Auburn next week after that. And, and uh, But, again, a lot of games at the Rock early, so that's always a good thing. All right, Hop, we appreciate it as always. Always a lot of fun visiting with you here uh, before the ball game. So uh, keep up good work, and let's go get one All on right. Saturday. Thanks, guys. All right, Coach Jay Hopson of the Golden Eagles against the Rice Owls on Saturday at the Rock. It's the uh, Conference USA opener for the Golden Eagles. So big ball game for both the Golden Eagles and the Rice on Saturday at the Rock. Don't forget Mondays we are at Georgia Blue in Hattiesburg, the Golden Eagle hotline with Coach Hobson. Come on by, visit with us, and we'll talk a little Golden Eagle football. That'll do it. Have a great week, everybody. See you next time on another edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Jay Hobson. Been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. I am more than just your local pharmacist. We eat at the same restaurants and we give back to our community. At Rogers Family Pharmacy, we are dedicated to keeping you and your family happy and healthy. Download the Health Mart app to your mobile device and easily enter your refills, pill reminders, and so much more. Rogers Family Pharmacy, where we treat you like family. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. The Hey Southern Miss fans, it's Toby Barker, Mayor of Hattiesburg. Mickey Spagnola once wrote, if you're going to war and you get to choose first, choose Southern Mississippi. Always choose Southern Mississippi. Don't fight Southern Mississippi because no matter how hard you fight, those folks will fight harder. His words capture the character of our institution and our city. We here in Hattiesburg are writing a new story, one where we rise to our challenges with great excitement one where we push our city to reach its potential, and most importantly, one where there's real partnership between the University of Southern Mississippi and the city of Hattiesburg. Southern Miss is vital to our city's success, from the quality of life it provides through athletics and the arts to the talent it cultivates in the classroom. We share a common destiny. Hattiesburg is proud to be Mississippi's college city, and we hope as we go forward, you'll join us in supporting our Golden Eagles this season as they go to the top.